Palazzo Strozzi is the perfect venue for discussing the complicated relationship between politics and art. This relationship is the subject of Political Objects, a collaborative project between Palazzo Strozzi, LDM, and other Italian and international art academies operating in Florence. The Political Objects project is connected to the current Ai Weiwei Libero exhibition, which spotlights one of the contemporary art scene's most famous artists worldwide. For the provocative Chinese artist Ai Weiwei, art and politics are inextricably linked. He's come to serve as a symbol of standing against censorship, against repression and oppression. Throughout the Political Objects series, students debated and explored the relationships between art, activism and society, looking at these complex dynamics through the lens of Ai Weiwei's work. The project took place over several months and will wrap up in January 2017. Central to the students' experience was their meeting with artists like Justin Randolph Thompson, whose work hones in on the relationship between art and politics. Ahead of his December talk at Palazzo Strozzi, we got to speak directly with the artist and LDM professor about this dynamic and about his involvement in the project. Art has always been a political gesture, right? Um, whether we're talking about historic art being tied into um, notions of ritual, you know, and I'm talking about like really historic art, um, or we think about sort of what work gets commissioned and what work doesn't, um, the ways in which the wealth of people that have been patrons of the arts are meant to be sort of built into the work itself, right? So the value of that work actually celebrates a certain level of propaganda. Um, art has also been used very directly as propaganda because we know that it's a language that gets used um, that is a nonverbal language that still has really big impact, right, in a way of changing a social outlook of things. Um, in terms of what gets done today, uh, my own out view, outlook on art, I think of it more as connected to sort of social activism than to any sort of specific poli politics in terms of party-based par politics. Um, and I, 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 myself, I view art as something that has a social capacity to really change people's way of thinking, um, of impacting forever the way that people think about certain images, certain ideas, right? And about sort of creating alternative strategies to what mass media wants to feed to us as um, the things that we should care about. Um, art is a way of upsetting value. Throughout the semester, LDM students produce a variety of works connected to the project's central themes and then had the exciting opportunity to present them at Palazzo Strozzi. LDM contributed photography projects overseen by Professor Gianluca Maver, which will later be incorporated into the publication highlighting the project as a whole. This final project will take inspiration from Ai Weiwei's Black, White and Grey books. Having the prestigious involvement of Palazzo Strozzi made the experience priceless for LDM students. We spoke with Martino Margheri of the Fondazione Palazzo Strozzi to hear more specifics about the collaboration from their side. Every time you're presenting a new show, I select a group of uh, departments and universities to work with them in order to have a wider range of voices and people involved into the project. Because I don't know actually, and even the professor involved, they don't know until the end of the project what is going to be. I mean, they don't know how the students are going to work on the subject and they don't know exactly if they're going to work on photography or sculpture. So we've been seeing a lot of different things tonight. Dealing with so many different uh, departments means widening the possibility of having interesting projects.